My ISDT Q6 was my go-to charger for the last year and a half, two years, but the wheels started messing up and I started getting a lot of um, balance port errors. It was saying the balance port wasn't right and it just started to get unreliable. It still works and I still keep it because I can charge with it if I need to, but I was looking around and it just happened to be around the time that the toolkit came out with their M6D. So it's a dual charger. So again, I can field charge from battery, but I now have two ports. So I can charge 3S and 4S if I want, 4S and 6S, 4S and 4S if I wanted, LiPo, Lion. It's just nice to be able to have options beyond just charging one type of battery at a time. So the other op nice thing is this is five, th uh, sorry, 500 watt charger, whereas the Q6 Plus was only 300 watts. So I can actually get a little bit more um, current through this one to charge a few more packs, packs in parallel if I need to. Um, normally when I'm powering on the bench, I use my ready-made power supply, uh, it's 24 volt, and I've got an XT60 I put on there. It comes um, kind of naked, and these um, TPU printed mounts my buddy printed for me, I don't have TPU ability, but I put the link down below, I believe he's got them on Thingiverse. And um, then he also made this one, so it has a, a power switch, which is really nice. So normally when I'm on the bench, I use that, but for the sake of this, um, video i'm going to use a battery so this is a 5s 2p lithium ion battery and uh, i know that it's below it's about 3.6 volts per cell right now so i've got room to put voltage into this and the whole point of this is i wanted last night i was looking at i had some batteries including a few six cells that i really don't have any anything to fly with right now i got them from someone and i wanted to discharge them down to storage charge so all my batteries are already at storage charge, so for this video I'm going to discharge them instead of storage, but it's the same process for what I'm trying to show. I went on the Toolkit um, YouTube channel, they've got a few videos, one of them I'll link it up above, is how to do a recycle from battery here through the charger into this battery. And the problem is that when you look at their video, they go to this discharge mode and they have two options, internal and recycle. However, the charger as it comes out of the box, you only have internal ability and normally that only discharges at about 0 0.8, 0 0.5 depending on how hot the charger starts to get from how long it's been running. So um, discharging at what I normally see as 0.5 amps is far from ideal or uh, yeah, far from ideal if you need to discharge several batteries because you were out in the field and crashed on your first one like I tend to do. Um, so. I was trying to figure out why it wasn't showing the recycling and I looked around a little bit and I didn't really see it and then I just started messing with the charger and if you long press the roller you get the setup menu and there's input settings. You notice the power selection it says P1 and if you scroll over there's P2 and P3 options. So as you see P1 is set up as adapter and I changed P2 to battery for my power type. So now I'm telling the charger that instead of having a power supply I've got an actual battery there. When I go back to the discharge menu, now it has the recycle option. So the toolkit video doesn't tell you how to get that option there. It just kind of assumes that you already have it set up for battery. Not a great um, demo video there. And it doesn't really, even in the manual, I'll link that down below also, a screenshot here of the page. Um, it just says to go to recycle. It doesn't say how to get that to appear in the screen. So now if I put that on recycle, um, set my discharge rating. I know this lithium ion is a 2P pack, so I, I'm a safe, comfortable that it's safe to charge this at 3 amps, so I will discharge this at 3 amps also. And if I go down to start, now you can see it's discharging at 3 amps. So I can discharge to lithium ion pack with it just being 2P at least. If I made a bigger pack, which I may, um, I can discharge quicker and then I'd have that power later if I wanted to take that. Lithium ions tend to hold um, voltage a little longer better versus lith lithium polymer or LiPo batteries. So I can charge this battery up with the juice coming out of this guy and then later use it to recharge these when I want to go back out or if I'm out in the field. So I'm going to stop discharging this battery so it doesn't get too, too low. Again, that's just a... Uh, so Toolkit has a video about it, but it didn't really show you how. So again, if you long press, you get to the setup menu and input, and I'm going to put my back to my adapter. So you just need to do that to get there.
So I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was, comment below. If you've got other questions about other features, um, I guess real quick I can show that another feature I figured out on this is if you press this button and then plug in, which is hard to see, it'll come up with a calibration menu. Um, my charger needed tweaked a little bit to get it to read. Um, I read this with a multimeter that I know is good and then um, looked at what each voltage says here per cell. And then I even went and I moved it over to get them to the other cell, six cells. And you can adjust all the features in here. Um, if you go to the cell you wanna adjust, you can see the number down here, 44800. That changes as I go. I actually set mine all to that. But if I click it, then that allows me to change that number. So that's how you adjust your calibration. You can go through all of them and then you save or just exit or you can go back to your defaults. But I'm gonna go ahead and exit. And then it comes up to the main menu. So again, that's something else that's kind of, I think I found another video for an, another toolkit charger. Didn't mean to do that toolkit. Um, Somebody else had, a, I think it was the M8 or another charger and that is the same process, but it wasn't the video for this. So um, that's how you do that. So again, questions on this charger, questions about anything, questions about, um, yeah, anything. <laughs> Just ask, like, subscribe. I hope this was informational and sorry I'm rambling a little bit. It's getting real hot in my garage. <laughs> Have a good day.